I, I can't give it all away right now. I want to save something for next week. Good morning, YouTube occupiers. This is Cruise Man. As if you didn't know. Who else is at Einstein at 7 o'clock in the morning? So, let me turn my camera around here. I'm not sure if it looks very straight today. It almost looks like it's a little a little cocked to one side, but maybe I can straighten it up just a little bit. Let's see. What do you think? Is that better? Now uh, you guys let me know. Turn it. Trying to get this uh, GoPro adjusted. And by the way, I think I mentioned to you in a previous Moto Vlog that I just got this new GoPro 10 and uh, I've been using it a little bit I think I like it, it's okay I'm not sure it does any better than the GoPro 8 did for what I use it for, I think for motor vlogging uh, the GoPro 8 is probably still one of the better choices I still have uh, two GoPro 8's, so one I'm not using anymore and in fact, I think um, I may end up selling it if anybody out there is interested. But before I get into that, let me welcome you to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. And if you're passionate about motorcycles, if you enjoy uh, riding on two wheels or even three wheels, I'd appreciate if you take the time to click that subscribe button down below. Join our YouTube family doesn't cost anything it's completely free and uh, use that little bell icon to let YouTube know that uh, you want to get notified when we come out with new videos it's actually a pretty nice day this morning it's cloudy we're supposed to get some rain later on but uh, right now it's about 65 degrees out pretty nice wind is gonna start kicking up and uh, we have some thunderstorms coming later today What's it like where you live? So a couple of new videos uh, posted recently to the uh, YouTube channel. One of them was my uh, the new battery that I swapped out in this Goldwing. A very popular video and that video is also uh, been edited slightly. I made a few modifications to it and posted it to our uh, 2018 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance video series on Vimeo.com. So if you are a uh, If you do own my uh, maintenance videos, you'll find that video in the collection now but it's uh, been a very popular video with about 7,000 views. Pretty interesting. Now, some of you asked me some questions about the lithium ion batteries that are available for the Goldwing. I know uh, many of you know who I'm talking about when I refer to Don. Uh, my friend Don, who had a 2018 Goldwing, and his battery died, and he replaced it with a lithium ion. And uh, he really liked it. It was a pretty expensive battery, as I recall. It wasn't cheap, but he was happy with it. Um, I just remember reading an article where they compared the glass mat to the lithium ion, and there were some certain cases, I can't remember if it's weather related or what, where the glass mats had an advantage. And there are some cases where the lithium ions had some advantage. I think in really, really cold weather, glass mat batteries might have an advantage over the lithium ion but some of somebody out there knows the answer to this and uh, please put it in the comments down below if you know what I'm trying to say and you probably could say it better than I'm saying it 
But then I put out the video recently, just a couple days ago, about this uh, this new belly pan, this aluminum belly pan from Wing Stuff, and it's getting a fair amount of views as well. Um, I do want to, and I have that on the motorcycle right now, just so you know. I have, uh, some of you have asked me a question about the belly pan from Traction, which I believe is being uh, developed by Max over at Traction Dynamics. Uh, I don't know anything about that product yet. I haven't, I haven't watched Max's videos. We've been out of town, so I've been, I'm not really caught up on my videos. But um, my understanding is that we will be uh, getting one of those in here to uh, install and review and do some testing on as well. So uh, you'll have that to look forward to. That's why you need to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Uh, that way you'll be the first ones to see this. Also, check me out on Instagram. I'm starting to post a little more on Instagram. And... Um, I just need more support over there on Instagram. So, you know, just a lot of cool stuff going on. I just, I'm just loving this weather. This is just a beautiful time of year to ride a motorcycle here in Texas. It's cool, but not too cold. And if the wind's not blowing, it's just perfect. So the bike is running great. I am getting ready to replace my front disc uh, brake pads and I'll uh, I'll probably do a little video on that I'm not going to do an instructional video but I'll probably have the camera running while I'm in the garage doing that job I'm real anxious to see I have not checked my front brake pads in quite a while so I'm anxious to see what the wear patterns like on those front brake pads because I've heard so many people say that they have uneven wear uh, that the inside pads are not wearing at the same rate as the outside pads. So I'm anxious to see uh, what the wear pattern is on these brake pads. I will say that I have been very impressed with the brakes on this 2018 Goldwing. I think they just are excellent brakes. And I did check my rear brake pads at about... 17 or 18,000 miles because I had the rear wheel off and uh, I looked at those pads and they look brand new they look like they'd had hardly anywhere so I mean I was thinking about replacing them at the time since I had the rear wheel off because it's much easier to do if you've got the wheel off but turns out they just they looked brand new I did replace my parking brake pads and uh, they were a little worn because I, I, as many of you have done, I'm sure, I had driven off or ridden off with the parking brake on and that uh, takes a toll on those brake pads pretty quick. So I'll be doing the front brake pad replacement and I like to go ahead and do the, the complete brake job. I like to go ahead and replace my brake fluid at the same time, flush and bleed the brakes, just get them back to 100%. Uh, so I will be doing that maybe in the next couple of days, depends on what the weather's like and uh, what's going on in our garage. Sometimes uh, we're supposed to have some hail storms tonight, I'm pulling into the grocery store right now just by the way. Uh, we're supposed to have some hail tonight and I may have to pull ricky's mother's car into our garage just to keep it from getting any hail damage her mother has a 2007 mercury grand marquis and this thing's like an army tank it barely fits in our garage so what i have to do is put the put the gold wing in my little one car garage and then somehow pull her monstrosity into our two car garage with our uh little lexus suv but any of you are familiar with those old Mercuries, they are beasts. They are huge. And uh, it just barely fits in our garage. So I'm pulling up here to Kroger, gonna go do a little bit of shopping. Uh, Ricky's got a cold and doesn't feel very good, so I'm gonna pick up some 
pharmaceuticals for her and anyway I just want to thank you for joining me today if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up I don't know what there is to like about it all I did is ramble about the new videos I put out um, not like there's any real riveting content here but uh, nevertheless sometimes you just like to join along for the ride and I appreciate it if you did and please give it a like it it, it super super helps our rankings I've got a big announcement coming up next week about 2022 and um, so I really am trying to do everything I can to build our subscriber base we I want to get to 40,000 subscribers here pretty soon and uh, any help you can give if you share these videos on your social media or tell your riding buddies about Cruise Man's Garage, uh, I'd appreciate it. The more subscribers, the better right now, and I'll tell you why next week. So I, I can't give it all away right now. I want to save something for next week. So anyway, enjoyed being with you today. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlogs.